Yes, that's right. It's time for Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with another episode of Show Us Your Cat. And today we have got nothing short of an island-style 16-foot special. Oh, yes, you're going to like this one. Show Us Your Cat is, of course, where we take a look around the world at your boats and where it is that you sail them. If you'd like to be involved and show us your cat on Show Us Your Cat, then all you need to do is send me some pictures, some video, an explanation of what it is that you like to do with your cat, and then you could be featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Hey, Joe. That's a great looking hat, man. Yeah, thanks. Where did you get it? I got it at totaljoyrider.com. So since the last Show Us Your Cat, the main event on Joyrider TV, apart from the very exciting Q&A sessions, a look at all of the top speed runs from Vasiliki Bay last year. And oh yeah, there was some big speeds coming out. So if you haven't seen that one yet, I'll put a link to that at the end of this one so you can click on it and then watch it because there is some fast sailing there. Talking of fast sailing, yes, that's right. The 2022 speed stick is very much up and running with a lot of entries now coming in thick and fast. I'd have to say a big tip of the Joyrider beanie hat to everybody who's been going out, especially those people who've been going out in Europe where it has been very cold and people have been dusting the ice off the boat before putting it in the water. Very cold stuff. But right now, yes, that's right, it is time for Show Us Your Cat. So let's jump in and take a look at some of these 16 footers in this week's Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. We're kicking off this week by heading to Puerto Rico in the Caribbean for our third time on Show Us Your Cat, to Carolina in San Juan, where we have Gustavo and his brother Javier, who have got this 2002 Hobie 16 with the sublime sail colours. Gustavo and Javier have certainly not got a shortage of people to go sailing with, with family and friends getting involved. Got the third brother, Nass, Nila, Gustavo's wife, Gustavo Andres, Frankie, Augustine, Gonzalo, Javier Andres, Pepe, Christina, Adil, Alex and Gabriel all getting involved. Apparently with more lined up to get out for a sail on this great looking 16. Gustavo's always been keen on his water sports. This was back in 86, just before his first time out on a cat. And it was actually in the summer last year when Gustavo and Javier decided to buy the 16. They spent the following two months bringing her back up to a good state with renovations to the rudder blades, a lot of filling and sanding going on to bring the blades back to a very good condition. A similar treatment had to be given to the hulls as well. Filling, sanding and polishing. And you can see the end result looking factory fresh. The sidebars were cleaned up. A repair had to be made to the jib. New rubber and a new trampoline fitted. And there's the final result. This boat really is looking very nice indeed. It was the day after Thanksgiving that they moved the boat to the sailing club on the beach in Carolina and sailed it for the first time. By then, Gustavo had very limited cat experience with only three or four times sailing one before but he prepared himself by watching a lot of videos which combined with his previous experience and a lot of enthusiasm meant that he felt well prepared and he had an absolute blast. 
from this onboard video, there's one thing that I could see, and that is the cleat and the block for the downhaul could do with being moved down the mast, which is going to enable you to get more downhaul on. Also, if you're finding that you're having to sail with the main sheet eased quite a lot, it's better to ease a bit of traveller so you can sail with a tighter main sheet and that will give you more of a feeling of being in control. So here's the whole family getting involved with the preparation of the boat. It's really great to see the enthusiasm with the young guys as well. Gustavo says that they're blessed with really good conditions all year round. He sails out of the Carolina Sailing School, which was founded and run by Enrique Figueroa, who's a local sailing champion, world-class Hobie sailor, and he sails NACRA 17 in the Olympics. It really is fantastic how quickly Gustavo and Javier have got used to the 16, notching up their speeds in more and more wind, already on the speed stick with a speed of over 20 knots. That really is great going in such a short time. For 2022, Gustavo's goals are to learn to trapeze confidently and teach his two oldest sons to sail and, if possible, to race in his first regatta before the year ends. So thanks very much to Gustavo and team for sending us in those great pictures and videos of this fantastic looking Hobie 16. Next, we're heading to Maui in the Hawaiian Islands, where I'm handing you over to Ryan. So here we are, uh, Saving Cats. That's the story of the Prindle 16. Um, this is the location where we sail out of in Kihei, Maui. And here's a couple of boats there. You can see our Prindle on the left and some other of the yacht club enthusiast boats. And so basically, sailing's been a passion of mine since I was a kid. This is me in high school. And uh, for the last maybe six or seven years, I've been talking to one of my coworkers, Joseph, and encouraging him like, hey, we got to buy a boat. We got to buy a boat. And then one day I saw a Prindle 16 located right down the road. And so we went for that. Joseph and I convinced him to buy it. And uh, we got it for like 500 bucks and we fixed it up. And this is it without the jib, um, you know, on one of our first voyages out there. And we've just had a ball with this Prindle 16. We, you know, we took it out, um, basically learned how to sail it, learned what conditions not to sail it in. Actually, the first time we took it out, we wound up uh, getting into some really big trouble in the local environment because we didn't know it that well. And uh, we actually had the Coast Guard get called. Ooh, bad on us. But we were okay and we lived to sail again and we got back up. We got a jib and we got back out on the water. That's the only thing we could do. Uh, and just really, really loved it. <laughs> Country, little cowboy town called Makawao. There was one lost boat in a cowboy town. Horses and goats all around. <laughs> got some old pictures of that. The beautiful Prindle 16, taking her out on the sea. So here we are ripping it out there on that Prindle. I'm just gonna let the, uh, the sound take over here. <laughs> and where we are in the world is just so unique. Uh, we got to be with whales out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And the conditions can change at any that. moment. Five minutes, different ocean. Oh. Wait, wait. Go. I'm ready when you are. Diving a three. Sorry, I want to talk you watching the boat. Calling it in. Everything isn't always great though. Um, recently we had a huge storm come to the island 
and it actually injured the Prindle. It injured the Prindle. South Kihei Road here, uh, or North Kihei Road, where's the Sugar Beach, Kalia Road. Look at the pond, wow. Looking crazy. Going up here, um, check the boat, because the boat was in the drainage ditch of the pond, so. You think it's still out there? It's out there last week. Wow, show us your cat. The Nacra stabbed it. Hey. Didn't hit the oh, the inside. I hope the Nacra's okay. No, I think the Nacra will be fine. It's gotta be strong up there. Let's pull it. She's so stuck. One more, one more. There we go. Now you got the yeah. Did we hit again? We just scraped it. So basically, um, we the Prindle is down, and we are, you know, restoring, bringing it back. We have a spare hull that we found, and uh, we're going to get it going again so we can get out there on the water like this here and enjoy it. Uh, for now, we've got the NACRA 500, which will be in another version of Show Us Your Cat. And we got a whole nother story coming out about that. So you can look forward to that. And of course, if you want to support us here, restoring uh, the Prindle from this disaster while simultaneously supporting upcountry apiaries and our bee saving endeavors here on Maui, visit www.upcountryapiaries.com and stay tuned for the adventures of the honey cat that's going to be the nacra 500 featured in our youtube channel uh, that can be found upcountry apiaries on youtube well the pleasure is mine and this is ryan over here in maui signing off for joy rider tv thanks very much to ryan and to gustavo for sending us those great pictures and videos of their boats once again, get involved with Show Us Your Cat. It is your content that is keeping this series going. So if you haven't yet got involved, get involved and show us your cat.